So today's video follows on from the video you may have seen where I replaced the original uh, Z carriage with this piece. L love this, it's a, it's a, it's a lot stronger. Um, it's, it still flexes because of the bars. Can't do anything about that, I don't think. Um, gives me a lot more travel, gives me a 65 mil of travel. But what happened was I lost the clearance here. This, this original piece had a lot more clearance but between the bottom of the bottom of this and the bed, this piece here. In fact, I had something like um, I think two and a half inches of clearance. So if you have one of these generic units from uh, from eBay or made in China ones, you have about two and a half inches. When I put this on without any other modifications, that dropped to just under two inches, about one and seven eighths. I know I'm swapping between mil and centimeters here, but these things are in centimeters and I think in inches. Um, and in fact, I could barely get this underneath. So what I've done is I've actually gained 20 mil here. And what I could have done is I could have lifted this another 20 mil, giving myself, uh, you know, 40 mil in total. Um, if I don't actually need that for what I do. The whole thing cost me uh, less than $25. Um, what I had to buy was actually maybe exactly $25. Um, so what I had to buy was these pieces here. These were uh, $6. Um, I had to buy the, the, the fastenings that, that these connect into, into this rail. Uh, they were, I think they were six, seven dollars. Um, I didn't buy the hex screws. I actually, uh, I actually had some, so they didn't cost me anything, but if you had to buy them, looks like they're about eight dollars uh, for a pack of those. Um, and then this, uh, this beautiful bit of uh, red plastic is a chopping board from the dollar store, which cost me three dollars. So I'm going to show you how I how I did this. Um, you can see uh, we've got a, a lot more clearance there, and um, I can take this all the way down. I won't go all the way down, um, but it just runs a lot smoother. I've got all the clearance I had, and then some back. Um, and again, if I need to do anything thicker, I, I could lift this up. Or it's a it's a bit of a faff to sort of move it around, but uh, actually happy with how this turned out. Um, I machined these on the CNC. I'll show you how I did that as well. So that's the first time I've kind of machined something precision in quotation marks. Um, but this, this worked out nicely. It feels really rigid. I don't think I've done any harm. This one's actually bridging these two pieces, which I'm sure is helping. But I think for, you know, what is basically a fairly crappy machine, I certainly haven't compromised it at all. So I'm gonna show you um, how I machined these, how I put it together as usual. I get it wrong on multiple occasions, so hopefully you'll learn something from, from how I did it. Um, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so these are the extension pieces. Uh, these were $5.99 for the pair on Amazon. I'll put a link down below for these. And what I'm gonna do is mount these like that, so that I can then move the gantry up. Um, and to mount them, I, um, I made these just out of scrap just to, to try it out, but basically um, made these two pieces. Um, these are 20 mil um, apart and I just, just put as many in as I could fit. So this piece is going to go here and then this piece will go over here um, just to hold them in place. And then I can move the gantry up either uh, 20 mil or 40 mil. I'm just going to do 20 mil for this. I'll show you the results. And what I'm going to actually make them out of is um, uh, this, which is a, a chopping board. Um, it's about, about an eighth thick. Um, it's pretty rigid, actually, it's pretty tough. I just wanted some plastic that I could cut. I've never cut plastic before on this. I got this in the dollar store. It was $3. I'm still trying to work that one out, but uh, it was I mean, one of the dollar stores where they sell things that are more than a dollar. But um, <clears throat> I thought for $3, I could give it a go. So. I'll get this mounted um, and see, you can see this is where I cut out uh, the other two pieces um, and we'll, we'll give it a go and see how, how they look. Clean that up a little bit. See if I can, I guess I can get another one of those out of that. I'm not going to get the two pieces out, so I'm going to just cut another one of those. And maybe on the next one, I mean, I only only if you need uh, two of each pieces, unless I decide to double up just to uh, 
just to give me more strength. I mean, actually, if I can, if I can get all of those out of this, what I might do is I might, um, I might cut twice as many and then just uh, glue them together, um, which will get me closer to the thickness of the, uh, the Bakelite piece there. Um, I'm not going to do anything else with the, uh, the chopping board. So, um, okay, good. I'll get the rest cut and come back. Okay, so these, they, they came out nicely. And um, what, I, what I did was I, um, actually a little tip here. These were an M4 fitting, M4.70, uh, uh, which is a, an Imperial, a metric piece. I went to Home Depot to pick up um, some, some nice hex bolts. They don't sell them. Um, well, they do, <laughs> they do, but they were 78 cents for two. Um, and I did actually have these at home bizarrely um so what i did was i cut down um enough for these two plates to um i think uh, i think that was actually 10 mil um and then for the back plate just because i could actually cut out two i doubled them up uh, so that's probably 15 mil um and then so i cut those down um and then i've basically put them in place with the the locking nuts on the back um, like this. It, it's probably way more than I need, uh, but what I'm then going to do is is slip in the new piece um, and then I am going to clamp it down to get it as tight as possible um, onto the original piece um, and then tighten it whilst it's actually clamped down. Um, I'm just thinking, I, I don't, it would be possible to get play just the way these things are, um, are manufactured, the, the locking nuts. Um, so I'm gonna line that up perfectly at the back here. Um, let me, I'm just gonna tighten a couple um, just to sort of hold it there. Actually, Sort of nicely, coincidentally, when I did this offset here, uh, it, it sort of made this fit in here uh, sort of a bit more nicely. If I'd actually thought about it and measured it, I could have made it sit in there a, a lot more snugly. But um, I'm, I'm kind of just liking that look. I think that just looks a little bit more intentional, but uh, it wasn't. It was a complete coincidence. So uh, what I'll do is grab a couple of clamps and... Um, So I just I just want to make sure it is as as much as possible tight to the the one at the bottom. Don't really know if it's going to make any difference, but I, d I just noticed that that the way these the fixings work, there's there's a bit of play in there. Um, so okay. So then I am just going to tighten all of these in place. Um, when I do this, I'm actually only going to lift this up one piece. So this is actually also going to be bridging across the old and the new, which I think is going to just give it a lot of uh, a lot better uh, sort of rigidity there, if that's a real word. Um, but anyway, I'll uh, I'll tighten all of these. Then I'll go and do that on the other side, and then we'll come back. And I'm, I'm thinking I can just actually take the gantry off, take the three uh, fasteners from here and put them up here and then just lift it and put it back together again. Um, so uh, we'll see. I'll be back when I've done the, uh, the other side. Okay, so I, I undid the, uh, the hex nuts and oh, carefully lifted off the gantry. I'm just going to undo that just... out of the way okay so actually I guess the gantry comes off completely so that's uh, that's probably just good for you to be able to see so I think the secret here is uh, we need to have these three fasteners here I'm gonna lift it up 20 mil which is just one of these so um, what you can do is you can actually lift these out um, which is rather nice so they, they slot back in again I think this is going to be a bit of a challenge to put this back um, because I'm not going to be able to slide 
yeah so with again this is so it's good to watch someone else do this i'm thinking i might take this off but i will take this off i'm going to take this one off so that i can put the gantry in and sort of slide it back and forth to just just to basically hook those um i'll give it one go see if it works but if not i'll 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 pop this back one off, which will just let me um, move this around. So we'll just hook that side in and see how this goes. No, I think that's going to be pretty much impossible unless I'm incredibly lucky. Okay, I've caught that one. No, so I'm going to pop this off um, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got the other side in loose. I, I took, took these off on both sides, uh, definitely necessary. And um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put in these three on the second row up because I'm, I'm lifting it um, as close as I can and put these in because the the new the ones on the new piece of rail are much easier to do because I can slide them in from the side and then just push them in. Um, so this is a bit tricky um, without taking the whole thing apart. Um, so slide this over and just catch these lightly. Okay, so those three, as you can see, they went in pretty easily. So now I am going to just slide in this one that needs to go into the middle. And if I just drop this in, this will stop it going any further than it needs to. Whoops. So, and then if I lift it and just, I should be able to pick it up. There's the rain, happy 4th of July. Actually, again, with even more hindsight, I should have put the third one in first, because now I'm gonna have to sort of just Push that one over with this. It would have been easy just to have pushed it all the way in, but I think we'll pick it up. There we go. Okay, so um, so the trick there is to do this before you put that back piece on. Obviously, well, not obviously, but so um, I'll slide this across um, because this one's already there. I know exactly where the gantry. Oops, where the gantry needs to go. So. I can slide the gantry back to where it was. It's nice. So I'll I'll tighten these up, um, and then I will put the the back reinforcing piece in again. Actually, I'll probably clamp it and do that as well, just to make sure that it's as tight as it can be. Um, so yeah, I'll tighten this all up properly, and um, that should be all those pieces in place um, and I can see already that I've got much more space here to to get a piece under there um, that wouldn't have fit before good um, that's fitting under there with a with a waste block on so uh, I've gained quite a lot there I'll pop the waste block off and we'll do some measurements and I'll, I'll let you know um, actually how much we uh, we gained there but um, that's looking good